Okay, December 17th. December 17th, 1975, Lynette Fromm is sentenced for an attempted assassination on President Gerald Ford. Uh, Lynette Fromm was more famously known as Squeaky Fromm. Um, she was out in Sacramento, California. She knew the president would be there. And she was an ardent supporter of the Redwoods. And so she was there to plead with President Ford to protect the Redwood trees. Um, she was able to get within two feet of Gerald Ford with a 45 caliber uh, pistol and pointed the gun at him within two feet. Um, Secret Service was able to subdue her. Uh, it turned out that there was no round in the chamber. She had four rounds in the magazine, but nothing in the chamber. She later said that was on purpose. She didn't want to kill him. She just wanted to scare him or whatever. Um, she was sentenced to life in prison, um, but was paroled in 2009 and released and lives today in New York City. Um, she was a uh, follower of Charles Manson. So kind of a sketchy history. There was a murder in Sacramento um, in 72 that she was kind of tied to but released without evidence. Um, There's some other criminal activity. So long history. Um, she was first up for parole like in 1985 and refused to even apply. Um, but again, ultimately re released from prison in 2009. Um, has never um, um, spoken against Charles Manson. S still believes in Charles Manson. But um, at any rate, that's what I have for you today. In 1975, Lynette Squeaky Fromm is sentenced to life in prison for the attempted assassination of President Gerald Ford. That's what I have for, uh, and, um, ooh, I should mention, and uh, Gerald Ford testified in her trial um, because obviously he was there, he saw her, and um, it's the first time a sitting president has provided oral testimony in a criminal trial. So that um, happened during that trial, so that's what I have for you today. I will see you tomorrow.